Sand? Sand! <sighs> Have you left the wave machine on in the cupboard? No, Chris, the wave machine runs 24 hours a day. What I was trying to do was have a drink from the massive waterfall at the back of the cupboard. To be honest, it didn't go well. See, what I thought was, my body is mostly made up of water, and so I'd top the levels up. It is important to stay hydrated. Now, can you put the cupboard in dryer mode, please? Hair dryer mode, activate! You have water in every cell and organ of your body, so your bones are about a third water. The other major organs are around three quarters water, and your wateriest organs, your lungs and your brain, are over three quarters water. And we're going to prove it using this! Dehydrator! It's an amazing bit of kit that dries things out. So it can turn a grape into a raisin. But let's see what happens if we put some organs in there. Gross alert! <laughs> this is a pair of pig kidneys, this is sheep's heart, and this is a cow's brain. And in terms of their water content, they're a lot like yours. If I pick it up, you can see the brain looks heavy because of the water in it. The heart and kidneys have lots of water in them too. Let's see what the dehydrator can do to these organs in 24 hours. Is it ready now? Not yet. Now? No. Oh, is it done? Yes, it is. Gloves on, and let's take a look. Wow, Zond, look at that. We have shriveled some organs. So you can actually see from the outlines here how much the organs have shrunk. If I hold up this kidney, it's much, much lighter. The surface is shriveled like a raisin. We've made a giant kidney raisin. Now, this is the heart. So all the water has been removed, and all that remains is the muscle there and the fat there. The brain, in terms of its texture, it's become quite firm and hard. But if I turn it over, you can see on the bottom, it's still pink and wet. As the brain contains so much water, it hasn't fully dehydrated. I think it's pretty clear. If you didn't have any water in your body at all, you'd end up shriveled like a raisin. And that would be very bad, because water is vital for virtually every single chemical reaction in your body, and without it, you become dehydrated. Humans can only survive without water for about three days, because we're constantly losing water through your urine, of course, through sweating, but also even when you breathe. Humans need around one to two litres of water per day, depending on what you're doing and how hot it is. But you don't have to think about it too hard, because it's all controlled by a very special organ in your brain called the hypothalamus. We are going to supersize the hypothalamus. Get your tickets ready, Chris.